Hey guys, we're around here and welcome to a bit of an experiment. Now, um, real quick, this experiment is going to be highly dependent on my schedule. So, these will not be mainstream. I missed a couple pieces. Hold on. I'm about to do a freaking tutorial and I don't have it all correct. Oh my lord. As you can tell, I'm not really prepared for this, but um, I would like to I would like to see what the reception would be towards a um, tutorial, essentially, but on my shifts, which are completely 100% freelanced. So essentially, what a ship is. What these ships are is they start off with an idea, then they get turned into Minecraft models. So I'm going to be starting off with this carrier here. This is going to be part of my realistic series, which is going to be a less a lesser scaled or um, it's one fifth scale, so compatible with Garrett's models. So if, let's say you bought a lot of Garrett's ships and then you just come across my channel and you see this character, you like it, right? The techniques and the building style is comparable to Garrett's. At least I think it is. So you got the high level detail and whatnot. In the realistic series, it's supposed to be smaller versions of my main custom warships so i'll go take you to the full size now this is actually a full size warship a uh, carrier conversion for a heavy cruiser i'll show you the heavy cruiser as well but this is supposed to be the more realistic a more realistic battle cruiser in terms of scale so as you can see i already have another work in progress going but um here's the carrier herself they'll be building again. I'm not the best at carriers. So I'm actually kind of surprised I got her to look as well as she did. And then this is what she's supposed to be full size World War II era. As you can see, I hold no punches. I like what I like. Angled flight decks. Now this is not the, this is the original. My, my standard ones are better. But the uh, cruiser that, that cruiser's or that carries based off of is this guy, this gal here, which I won't be doing a tutorial on unless we had a certain amount of likes. And then I'm obviously trying to do my battleship Orion, which is this ship here, and I'm failing. So I'm gonna have to do some more work on that, make some sacrifices and all that, you know. I'm not trying to get like a uh, Iowa or anything, so. I am also fully aware that some of y'all can actually provide feedback. Again, I'm not I'm not the best at building aircraft carriers. I want to really stress that. I don't build carriers often for a reason. For as basic as they may be, you know, just a simple flat top warship that carries and launches and receives airplanes at sea, right? There's a specific style that I go for, mainly Japanese style, because... I mean, if you're to look at these warships, they all have a, their own themes. They have their own takes. This one is very obviously marked. So, a bit about this warship. This is my Takao class heavy cruiser aircraft carrier conversion. Or in this case, it is a heavy cruiser class. So... It can be Takao class, it can be whatever class you want it to be, but again, this is my realistic series. So I haven't come up with the names or anything. The styling is mainly inspired off of the Shokaku class, mixed with some Kaga, some Akagi. Mainly Akagi when it comes to the cruising conversion, that's where the um, conversion comes from, and then the Shokaku class because that's the carrier class I actually really like. This by American Bias Stores and the Missing Ford class. 
So um, a bit more in depth of a 360. Again, I, I'm not the best, so things could be off here. So I'll let y'all improve it from there, but I'm just gonna give you a base model or as she is right now. So obviously we have the carrier deck, we have an offset, couple of offset elevators. Our island is more forward and on the starboard side on like a Kagi, we have a aft mast here that actually goes down and connects off onto our crane. We also have a little beacon on the side and then we have a air search radar type deal. Now you can make this more accurate if you want to with actual equipment or the scaling, scaled equipment. Most of my ships borrow off of each other so this style is actually on my destroyers, some of my heavy cruisers, uh, Orion actually has a style or had the style and then it's also on almost all of my carriers so again if you want to make this more accurate you can so we're going to start off with layer one another quick disclaimer here real quick is in the background you will occasionally see a train or a couple of trains. Um, I have a couple of failed pieces of rolling stock or freight cars in the background, and then there's a couple of locomotives. The smaller engine, if you do catch that, is made by Crafty Fox, and then the larger engine, if you see that at all, is Garrett 2x4. So I need to get the shout outs out of the way. So layer one is going to be consisting of only brick slabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come off with this and then I'll give you a number. I'm not about to do what Crafty Fox does. I'm about to make a lot of people mad, but I'm not about to do what Crafty Fox does and just layer by layer where you have to pause it. I'm actually going to sit here and I'm going to build a ship with you. So starting off from our first block, our center line is going to be 41 blocks long. So, I know on console, if you were to try and do this, I mean, obviously, she's going to look a bit different. Oops. Do we have, not 800 blocks, dang it, 40, then I need 41, so right there, there you go. But yeah, I know on console you're going to be doing something kind of different if you want to count out. For those on console, for a quick tip, I use pink concrete to count. Then I just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I just have a little notch, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 2 notches. Or uh, 2 blocks stacked on top of the row. You're a taller pillars are the tens and then the fives I mean to each their own you can manually count you can do this that's the method I came up with on PS4 so now we're going to count back from these I'm going to count back on our center row four blocks each side four blocks so this is your stern, two, three, four. Come out to each side. You can pick a side. Again, I'm going to build this ship with y'all. We're just going to come out to the first block here. Then just to speed things along from your bow, you're going to count back seven. So one, two, three, four five, six, seven on your eighth block out to the side. So it should be seven with nothing on the front and four with nothing on the back. Go ahead and fill it in. If you do need to pause, go ahead and do so.
and that gets us up to three wide. So you should have something like that. Again, it's four on the back, seven on the front, and you're gonna be three wide. Take a minute to pause if you need to. And again, the center line is 41 blocks. From here, we're gonna go out to our size again. Starting off at the bow, we're gonna have seven blocks again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on our eighth. And again, this will be the front of our ship going that way. So whichever end you have your front, you should have seven blocks that are on a single row, three wide of seven, and then you should be going into your five on your eighth block on your first row to the outside. So take a minute if you need to here. I do apologize if it's a bit chaotic. And then here, it's four on the back. So here's your row four here. One, two, three, four on your fifth block out to the sides. And then just go ahead and connect up the front to the back. Like so. And once you have that done, again, take a minute and pause if you need to. In fact, I'll even remove the HUD here real quick so that you can actually get a better picture. So it should be seven, seven. So you should have a single row of seven on the bow. Once you go to your three right, it should be another row of seven. On the stern, it should be a row of four, four. And then the total length of the ship at this point in time is 41 blocks. So your center line needs to be 41. Um, this is like my second time doing a tutorial. The first time is the uh, Battle Carrier, which will no longer be up on the channel at the time of posting this, so... Hopefully I'm doing well, but that's going to do it for Layer 1 onto Layer 2. Again, I don't have any kind of editing software, so we're just going to move on. So we should remain with our brick slabs. If you don't want... I'm going to keep the brick slabs just in case, but you're going to need red concrete, red stained glass panes, brick walls, acacia trap doors, brick stairs, lightning rods, and then on Java, for one some weird reason, you're going to use birch. Otherwise, I would have used skeleton skulls, but I mean, both, both work. I am... Um, Impartially either or, but you get the idea. Now for your center line, which we're going to start off with, you're going to have a red concrete on top of your first brick slab like so, and then you're going to run it all the way back across your center line. Should be a row of 42, so it's going to overhang the back by one block. Like so. That's then going to be followed up by a stair and two slabs. That should create our fan tail. Going out to the sides, I'm going to count back two blocks. Then we're going to place a row of three red concrete. So again, one, two on your third red concrete, going back two and three. From here, you should be able to place one, two, and three of brick walls. The third one going back should be on that first slab. That is actually part of the design. Before you all freak out and do all kinds of changes when I end up lengthening the ship. So I'll stop here. Let y'all catch up if you need to. I don't have anything on the bow. No, I don't. Something else you can do if you want to is you can put acacia trapdoors here on the sides just to kind of give a bulbous bow type look. Again, I'm going to stick with the uh, stock battle cruiser in the realistic series. 
Paul, so. Now before we get too far on the back here, we're going to add in our rudders. Like so. So there should be a brick wall on the extreme back. Followed by a, grain, a red stained glass pane, like so. Coming off of that last slab. And then we're going to have a birch slab, like so. Count back one from that, and then you're going to have two upside down stairs, followed by an upside down corner stair, like so. So you should have a block gap between your first slab and the stair, because we are going to overhang by one. It'll be the same on both sides, and then a lightning rod connecting the two. Again, I'll pause so that y'all can actually copy. And then from the stair to the brick wall on both sides, go ahead and just connect them up. And you should be able to get a shape like so. Now before I get an angry comment at, or a comment asking how long this 5Y section is, I'm going to address that now. It should be a total of 19. So 7, 7, 19, 4, and 4 on the base. Should have made that clear earlier, but you live and learn. Figured I'd give that information out now while it was late and still early on. Early on in the ship's construction, at least. Here we're going to count back one, and then out to each side we're going to add a red stained glass pane, so you should have brick wall, red concrete, and then stair going out to the outside, three back. Like so. And then again, one, two, three of brick wall, the third brick wall going towards the back on this slab here. And I'll let y'all catch up. That's what the ship should look like at this point in time. Oops. And then from here, it's actually going to be a bit easier on this outer row. We're going to bring our red concrete back and overhang by one. So it'll still be a total of 19. So we are just pushing the red concrete back one. And then you can have a corner stair, two upside down stairs, then a corner stair like so. So corner stair, 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 corner stair. Followed by two lightning rods and a birchwood slab. Like so. Going towards the outside, you're going to come back, count forwards too, so you should have your corner stair here, one, two red concrete, and then on the third red concrete, we're going to put down a row of acacia trap doors, stopping two blocks away from the, from the row of three red concrete. So looking like that, that's what it should look like when they're all flipped up. And we're going to go ahead and close them all. Like so. That's what it should look like from up above. Go ahead and take a minute and copy if you need to. I don't know if I'm going too fast for y'all or if I'm going too slow. So this... First tutorial is really just an experiment. Again, I apologize for any kind of errors or anything. Now, 
Again, because I don't have any kind of editing software, we can just go ahead and toss everything that's related to the underwater part of the hull away. And we're going to get out andesite wall, light gray stained glass pane, stone, and gray wool. And then just to get it out of the way too, we're going to also get, grab black concrete, stone stair, stone slab, light gray banner, stone cutter, dark oak wood fence gate, gray carpet, I don't know if I say gray wool yet, but um, gray wool, oops, um, I'll just Fix that real quick. Go ahead and just grab an iron bar too, as well as an item frame. And then we're going to need a redstone comparator, iron trap door, birch sign, skeleton skull, and a lever. Now I'm just going to Grab everything I need right on this layer right now. Okay. So I'm actually going to start from the bow and work back. So we're going to place a stone on top of the uh, red concrete and a site wall going forward. Then we're going to go back to the end of the uh, gray of the red stained concrete or Glass pane. Oh my lord. Like so. So that should be a row of five with the andesite wall on the bow. Coming out to the side, we're going to have a row of three concrete going up and forward one. Like so. One, two, three. Andesite wall. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run gray carpet all the way back now the uh, decking is completely personal choice until we get to the carrier deck and even then there's some woods you can do depends on if you want to make this a diehard imperial japanese navy warship that's or a two spec ish japanese carrier i'm not going to do that so um i'm going to just use the dark gray because that's what i've been using the most Often, I'm gonna stop one back, so red con or uh, stone to each side. Stone on the last slab, and then andesite walls on top of the brick walls. Your row of dark, of gray con, oh my lord, of gray walls should be 39 blocks long. So I'll stop here and let y'all catch up if needs be. From here, we're going to have one, two, three, four, and five stone again, going back. Then going to the outside, one, two, and three, going back. So you should have an inside wall, concrete, concrete with glass coming off of it. So you're essentially shifting the previous layer, which is gray, or uh, red, sorry, up and forward and then turning it gray. And then three in the side wall going back, like so. Now I'm going to observe the back here real quick. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a row of four stone going forward off of the end of side wall for our fan tail. One, two, and three glass panes off of the first three so you should have your wall and then stone with glass pane stone with glass pane stone glass pane stone with nothing so I'll pause here for a moment let y'all catch up and then after that three andesite walls going forward 
ending just where this corner stair is. So again, I'll pause and let y'all catch up. From there, we're going to run gray wall all the way forward on both sides. This should be a row of 28. And then very easy for the outside most, we're just going to run stone all the way back between our walls. Come on. This should be a row of 24. Now, I am going to say that this is where it begins to get a bit more complicated. Because now we're actually going to have some asymmetric differences on the actual carrier. So just to show you, we got more openings here. We got our smokestack. You can see Heavy Cruiser that this is based on is a single stack. We'll start on the bow. And we'll go back to this stanchion here and then here you can see obviously it's a bit less so I'll be going back and forth quite a lot from here on starting off with the bow what are we doing here we're gonna have a stone block on top of this and a site wall stair going forward and then before we forget about it We're going to just put an end rod on top for our forward flag mast. You know what? Screw it. Screw it in relative to this, by the way. We're going to have skeleton skulls to both sides. And then skeleton skulls like so to help give the shape of the hull or the bow flare. From here we're going to make a a shape I'm guessing. So we're going to come back to out and two. So again center line one two off of that block and you're going to make it a row of three and then back one. I'm missing anchor, so I'll just go and show you where those anchors are after we get the carrier done real quick. But first, we're going to put a iron trap door in like, that, like so, followed by true trap doors coming off of the two stone slabs like so, and a comparator like that. Now, someone's going to comment where do the anchors go. I'll just show you where the anchors go real quick. I have rockets, so let's just do that here real quick. They're not on that model. Okay, so what I'm going to say is that the anchors actually go on the exposed block here. Angled. Dang it like that. So I'm just going to go around all the models that I have real quick except for the one that's furthest away and I'm just going to add that in here real quick. And back off to the ship to make it match. So again, your first block, that has, so you should have your end site wall, then your stone block like so. You can put an anchor right there. You will no longer be needing the crossbow by the way, which is what, it, what we're using for the anchor. 
from there, I'm going to put a stone block like that. Stair going forward, stairs to both sides. This is going to be your anti-aircraft platform. Then we're going to have gray wool to the back. And a side wall. Again, gray wool. Followed by and a side wall. And then, can I just please observe? No, I cannot apparently. Um. Okay. So behind these stone wall or the andesite walls, we're gonna have two stone blocks followed by a stone brick stair like so, and like this to each side. From there, we're going to have another br stone brick stair going back like that, giving us a corner stair on the front. Moving to the back, we're going to have one and two gray carpets. Then we're going to have our five inch gun there. our NSA walls and then two gray carpet like so and then repeat what we did on the front this time it's just going to be facing the back like so, and then we're going to add another stair. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a center row of gray wool going all the way to the front. You can leave this hollow if you want. I just fill it in because I prefer to have my ships filled in. Now we're going to start with the port side, sorry about the truck, but um, we're going to start off with the port side in which we're going to have two blocks going forward from our destroyer gun, so one, two. And then we're going to have a... Oh my lord. Talk about confused. Okay, I'm... If y'all are confused by this, I... I know the feeling. So we're going to have a slab and then two stairs facing forward. Slab and then two forward facing stairs. We'll fill in on the inside of those here in a second. We're going to have a block followed by another forward facing stair and a slab. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run stone blocks from there on all the way up to the front because we're going to have that. We're going to have the carrier deck more off to one side. Now, what I do is I usually try to keep the gray wool constant except for where I need it. So only on the port side, we're just going to have black concrete where the vents and openings are. And then we can just take our gray wool and fill in the rest only on the start on the left side of the carrier. So our part side. On the starboard side we're gonna have a row of one, two, three, followed by a stair and slab. So one, two, three stair, slab, and then a stair facing the back. So this stair here should be facing the front. This stair here should be facing the back. And that's going to be followed by a slab. A 
a block. A stair facing the back. A stair facing the front. And a slab. Then we're just going to go ahead and run stone blocks all the way up to the front. And again, use black concrete to get where the vents and everything are to make it seem like there's actually an interior in there. Then use gray wool if you want to to fill it in. I'm going to have to mute here real quick, but I'm just going to keep working until it gets a bit closer. It's being a train. So on this slab here, we're going to actually have a iron trap door. Two blocks forward, we're going to have two stairs. This will be our funnel. So one, two, like so. Followed by a glass pane, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and the site walls. So two, so three, four, five, five by light gray stained glass panes going forward, two. And what you can do if you want to is you can actually break the center of three, then bring out your, uh, con your gray wool like that. And then this is where I have to mute, but here real quick, we're going to have one, two, and three slabs like that. Come on, mute. All right, now that the uh, loudest part of the train is gone. So, off of this side, we're going to have three slabs again. I'm going to double check. And then, I'm going to count back two in the back, and then we're just going to have a single slab. This is on the starboard side, so the island is actually going to be where these walls are. As you can see by the model up to the side here. And we got two engines this time, okay. Common thing about the train for the uh, local. We're going to have a row of stairs that will be 13 blocks long in between the two. So again, 13 blocks, and what you can do between that 13 is you can actually have some more gray wool, if you so choose. So I'm going to have it just to show what it would look like. Then right here too, if you really are that picky. And I think we're actually doing really good with this carrier so far, so if you're following along, Hopefully, I'm doing a good job. Again, I'll let the, uh, I'll let you, the audience, figure that out. But um, final touches here on layer one is we're going to come to this first lab here. We're going to add science to the outside, and then this is only a Java. This is a Java only feature. But if you're on Bedrock, I would just let this be. But for our Java players, we're going to go ahead and put an item frame right there. That's to upgrade the, um, 
forward armored gun tubs or whatever. And that's what we should have for layer, what is it, two, three, four? One, two, three, four, yeah. So layer four. So we're really beginning to see the shape of the carrier. And so we're going to move on to layer five, which is actually going to get a lot easier. On the starboard side, at least. And um, this side actually gets a lot more detailed, as you can see. So starting off, we're going to finish up the anti-aircraft platform by putting levers like so. A gray carpet in the middle. And then another Java-only feature is we're going to put item frames under our levers. On console and then on bedrock, as might as well just throw a pocket addition in there. You will not be able to put levers under, or you won't be able to put item frames under your levers. And then for the front stanchions we're, or supports, we're just going to have the uh, and the side walls go straight up. For the ones back here, we're going to go up and out. We're going to put a banner like so to make that connection. Like so. Before we get too far with that, we're actually going to come back to the back here. And we're going to do the same on the back. And that is actually a trick I learned from Garrett's Kaga. Now what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to build the deck. So we're just going to put iron, or, um, iron trap doors like so. And I do like the uh, tapered bow look, so that's what I'm going to show you to do. You can have it can be completely flat right up until a certain point. But this row here, right before your anti-aircraft platform, should be a row of three. You can make it a row of five if you want to. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna show, again, the model immediately next to us. And then, essentially, this is what the um, forward extended deck should look like. So again, I'm gonna pause here so that y'all can copy it over. We're going to connect right on into the actual body of the carrier deck right here. So On the back here it is, again, the same thing, just a tad bit different. So we're going to have a row of five going towards the back, followed by a row of three, followed by another row of five. And again, we're going to connect right on into the body of the carrier. Now we're just going to do the outline and then we're going to fill in with, then we're going to actually do the base of the carrier deck. So go ahead and on both ends, just make a row of five. And on the starboard side, we're going to have a row of eight total. So including this block, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That will take us right up to our island. We're going to have straight gray, light gray stained glass pane like so. Followed by one, two, one, two, three, stair coming out to the side, one, two, black concrete, 
and then from the black concrete going on back make sure to actually follow the um, so go in and all the way back to our row five we're gonna have a line of stone blocks which will be in total 15 long To get this side done, we're going to actually have item frames of iron bars like so. We're going to count two over. We're going to add a stair, followed by another two, followed by one. For the base of our crane, we're going to have a stone brick wall on this iron trap door. Followed by a stone brick stair coming off of it. So again, stone brick wall, stone brick stair going back from it. And then we're just going to put iron trap doors along the back. Like so. We'll worry about getting the rest of the detailing in the next layer. From here, we're, we're on the port side, I should say. We're going to have a row of seven going forward. And by the way, that was total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your seventh block should be right on top of the stair here. Real quick, just in case I lost some folks. I'm going to pause real quick. Let y'all catch up. And now to resume. We're going to have a row of two stone slabs coming off of the last two there. Followed by a row of two stone stairs. That doesn't look right. So did I get the right? Yes, I did. Okay. Coming off of that first stair, we're going to have a skeleton skull. And then from there, what we're going to have is a row of 19 stone. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So it should overhang by one. And again, coming off of that last stone block, we're going to have a skeleton skull. And as you can see, that will eventually be for our radio antenna that runs along the port side of the carrier. From there, we're going to have a stone stair. Then we're going to have a stone block like so with a stone slab coming off of it. And what we're going to do from there is we're now going to fill in what will eventually become our carrier deck. So just go ahead and Fill it all in real quick. 50 minutes. So I'm doing better than what it could be. Again, this is very much a experiment. I want to see what you, the viewers, have to say. If there's anything I can improve on. Stuff like that. I probably won't be releasing another tutorial like this for a minute. And now to get the uh, extreme outside done here real quick, we're going to count one block and then we're going to have two iron bars or iron trap doors. So you should have your skeleton skull, nothing, and then two iron trap doors. And then we're going to have a stair and we're going to actually copy this design 
one, two, three more times. So on the front, just to make a marker for us, we're gonna have nothing, skeleton skull, nothing, and then two iron drop doors. So you should have a total of one, two, three, four, and five stairs facing the outside away from the ship. And you should get a pattern like that. Now, something else you can do. I'm just going to stay here for a moment and let folks catch up. If you're caught up and you needed that pause here real quick, something else you can do just to save on carpus if you're on survival mode is you can just place wool right here where you're obviously not going to see right there you're going to see right through. Never mind. Um, okay, you can put gray wool like so, right where the stairs are. You can do it here as well, except for where the crane will be. And now this is where we get very much complicated. Or, pardon me real quick, first we got to put in the elevators. First step is to find where we actually stop, and we're going to actually go forward seven blocks. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on our... So I'm just going to confirm that here real quick. One, two and so our eighth ninth and tenth block and then we're going to go out like this this will be our first elevator you'll have gray carpet on this section so don't really worry about it and then we're going to go forward two blocks then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. And again, your second elevator. You can have a third elevator if you really want to. Again, since we're on the carrier deck, you can choose to use wood if you want to. That's what the Shokaku Sakagi Kaga had. Was a wood decks. So you can do wood if you want to, you just trade out the uh, gray wool. Otherwise, from here it's going to be gray wool. And the uh, deck markings for the IJN are going to be pretty standard. As you can see, I do my markings a bit different. Speaking of markings, we're going to just go ahead and do that real quick. So you're going to need gray carpet, white carpet, and red carpet. Then I'll do a stripe that goes along the entirety of the ship, like that. So coming to our center line, I'm going to place a white carpet on the very back here, and we're just going to go and make a line that goes right up to the other end of the carrier. Now this is actually a personal choice if you want this or not. But if you want to have the uh, Japanese emblem here, or the Imperial Japanese emblem here, what we're going to do is we're going to count back three. On our third, we're going to go out to one to the side, and then we're going to remove our last three like so. So you should have your center line coming up to a point, and then where this first Iron track door is followed by your block and your wool or wood. We're just going to have a row of three red, followed by another three of red carpet to the outside, white carpet on, to the outside of so that. And then you're going to make the white that comes right in a row of three like that. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to just 
make this a solid deck, you can use whatever wood you want, if you choose to use wood. I'm not going to worry about anything else from here, except for right here. We're going to add a 2x2 two two of gray wool, like if I can get the banner hitbox please, like that, 4x2 gray or red wool to the outside like so, with white to the outside. And now this is where we're going to actually get a bit complicated, so I'll try to walk through it as slowly as possible. We'll start off with the port side and then we'll, then we'll do the starboard side. So real quick, I'll pause here. And now to finish up the ship, what we're going to do to get the floating buttons, if you're on console or whatever version of Minecraft, if you didn't already know that these existed, so we're going to go and put in slash, give at p Minecraft barrier. Now this command also works on console. Um, PS4 it is called Barrier. I do not know about PS5, Xbox, and then I think um, mobile is called a structure block. So I'm going to do that. We're also going to need stone buttons and rods, stone brick walls, levers, and item frames, if applicable. If you do not have access to if you do not have the ability to put item frames under your levers, you can disregard. Actually, no, you'll still need that for the spotlight over here. You'll also need a snowball. So starting off at the ends of our rigging here, we're going to come up and out one with our end rods on top of both skeleton skulls. And then we're going to put in three stone walls. So on top of this support here, stone wall. Stone wall skipping this support here, which is where we will actually have our spotlight. Skipping another wall stair. We'll have another wall like so. Go ahead and put down your levers on the iron trap doors. Item frames underneath, if applicable. So on console and mobile, you will not have this ability. On the first stair, going back from the bow, we're going to ha just have a gray carpet. On the second one that we skipped, so on this stair here, again, that should be, this stair should be a carpet, so the blank stair closest to the bow, and then the one closest to the stair that we skipped should be an iron trap door, and a frame, and a snowball, something kind of like that. Then for each of our stanchions here, I'm going to do this quick because there's another train, and then I'm just going to rinse and repeat. I'm going to go up two and out. And I'm going to mute real quick again and do this and then pause.
All right, I'm going to try and do this quick. But on the front and the back, it's going to be the same. We're just going to make a, a tiered staircase. Like so, using our barrier blocks. Stones towards the end. Stone buttons towards the inside. I'm trying to do this quick because if you can't hear it in the background, the uh, local has the engines right outside and it's going to honk its horn any second now. So something like that. And then we're just going to run buttons in between our stanchions. Again, with the buttons towards the inside. So I'm going to mute real quick and get to that. That couldn't have been any more perfectly timed. Alright, so for this row outside of where the, all the AA guns are, excluding where we have wool, if you did put down any wool in the prior level, layer, oh my lord. We're just going to put carpet on top, like so. And now you can see that it actually begins to look like an actual elevators right there instead of actually a cob job. We're just going to go ahead and finish this up for the port side of the center line, which is marked in white, like so. Now we're going to actually move on to the crane, which you'll also need a chain for, by the way. So we're going to have an end rod going up from that, a chain facing whichever way you want it to. Coming up from this there, we're going to have a stone brick slab, followed by another one going up and out. Then we're going to have an iron trap door going one, two, three, and four, the chain hanging down like so. And then Right up to this point here, we can go ahead and fill in our dark gray. And it actually begins to look like a carrier deck. From here, I'm just going to do the A guns for now. So on this support here, we're just going to have carpet. Followed by two A guns to each side of that. Our spotlight. Like so. So. That's what it should look like at this point in time. On top of the smokestack, we're just, we're not going to have anything on top of it. On top of this stair here, gray carpet. Two levers going forward, item frames underneath, if applicable. Then just to get it out of the way, we're going to grab birch wood fence gate on the uh, aft side of this wall of this carpet. So the left side, we're going to have a fence gate, turn it towards the inside where our superstructure or our island will eventually be. We have a spotlight right there. Two levers like so, item frames if applicable. And then what we're going to do is right up to the smokestack, we're going to actually fill in the rest of the carrier deck. And now this elevator here looks like it's not actually part of the rest of the hull. I mean it is, but now it actually looks like a um, actual elevator that's not connected to the outside of the hull due to shading and textures and all that. I'm going to lower the part of me with that voice crack.
And I'm just going to take a look at our island real quick. For the first layer of our island, just to get it out of the way, we're going to have back here two stone blocks going forward, an upside down stair face in the front, and a side wall like that with a stair like that. And then from here we can just go ahead and fill in the rest of the carrier deck. And that will actually do it for this layer. And we're going to just finish up the island, get our beacon in, and call it done. Because I'm pretty sure y'all are probably tired of listening to my voice. I'm also getting tired of losing it. So to start off with, we're going to have our beacon built first. So we're going to have a skeleton skull like that. Skeleton skull coming up to the outside with three iron bars going up. We're going to have a stone block like so, upside down stair, followed by right side up stair like that. Another andesite wall like so. And then for For bedrock users, console users, and mobile users, I just recommend using dark oak wood signs. However, you can also use the beds if you so choose. However, for Java players, we're just going to put beds uh, all the way around this upside down stair face in the front. Like so, so you should have the pillow face in the front, pillow facing down towards the keel then pillow face in the front, and then signs wrapped around. Again, for console users, I suggest pick you, just using the signs. You can also choose just to use the item frames on the bed if you so choose. We're going to have our air search radar placed right on top of that stone block there. Skeleton skulls, like so, with a birchwood fence gate, like that, and then iron bars hooked together like that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's no special edits or anything I do from there. Next up, we're going to go up two with another brick fences. I'm going to come out with end rod. Oh my lord, this is an, an inventory filler. Like so, that should create our main mast. And then we're going to have our aft mast coming back like so. A total of three. What we're going to do is we're then going to connect our barrier blocks. Like so. And then we're just going to do our buttons like that. Then going from the back mast to our crane, we're going to have one up two. Is that right? No, it ain't. So we're going to have three followed by four. Correct? Correct. Okay. We're going to have stone buttons like that. And then again to both sides. And that should do it for our TACAO class aircraft carrier, or whatever you want to name it as. The only things I really do ask is that if 
this does appear on social media posts, other videos, stuff like that, that you do give credit. I mean, otherwise, I mean, this is completely freelance. This is probably going to get moved on. It's probably going to get, like, What's the freaking word? I'm having a brain fart right now, and I don't like it. Um, it's probably gonna get thrown in the uh, mothball yard where uh, forgotten ships and older generations of ships, anyway. But um, all I do ask is that you do give me credit for the ship design. And again, this is very much an experiment. I apologize for any pauses that were sudden. I just want to see what the reception will be on this. And again, I ain't going to get angry if some person decides to pirate this design and claim it as their own. I mean, that's less advertisement on my part. I mean, the only guy I do have to really worry about, he said he's going to keep fucking doing it. So, I'll eventually have the money to take his ass to court. Eventually. Right now I don't, so I don't really care. That and my designs are not really going to be copyrighted since they are very much freelanced. And the fact that I do move from generation to generation quickly. I'm not going to copyright designs until I find a design that I really do like. And that sticks around for more than a year. I can show you such a design right now. All I have to do is, I'm not going to show you the one over there, I might get to, I might send the wrong message. But uh, the only design on this world right now that I would actually outright freaking copyright is my battleship. I would copyright the design. Again, I don't have the money to do so, so anything in this world is pretty much free grabs. But yeah, I mean, this is right here, so we'll just do the finishing wrap-up with this model. So hopefully y'all enjoy it, hopefully y'all put it to good use, hopefully it finds a way to fit in with your fleet. Again, I'm just testing the waters to see what reception is. You are free to request builds. The only thing I do request on your part is that you give me a length and width for me to work with because if I don't have the base, I can't build whatever you're trying to get me to build. So I, again, do freelanced models. Right, I scared to historical models. It's just my take. It's what I find enjoyment doing, so. Um, hopefully the reception is good. Let me know if there's anything I can improve on. Other than that, see y'all later.